How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Booze Review. So in today's video, we're giving this a little go. So this is a bourbon by Aldi called Samuel Joe's. Now it's their version of Jack Daniels or Jim Beam, whichever one you prefer, but I always think Jim Beam's like another version of Jack Daniels. So um, Aldi's spirits and ciders and everything, to be fair, that they do are very nice, to be fair. Very, very good value for money, which is what Aldi is about. Um, so I've been wanting to try this for a while, never got round to it, and then somebody picked it me up for my birthday, which was in July. Um, so I'm really intrigued by this. I want to know kind of what it's like. So a little bit of information is there's none. Normally I like to read a little bit about, you know, what it's like. All it says is this bottle contains 28 servings, which, yeah, that's probably about right, actually, isn't it? Uh, in fact, I might not even get that out of it. Anyway, so we're going to be mixing this one today with Coke or Pepsi, should I say. Um, I, do, I, I do normally like to use a couple of mixes with a bourbon. I don't like to drink it with lemonade um, unless it's got something to it like, uh, you know, Jack Daniels honey or there was the apple one up back and then there was the Jim Beam black cherry that we did not long back as well. So only if it's got a flavour to it do I like to add lemonade. Other than that, it's just straight Coke. Now, obviously, first... We're going to be giving it a little go with, um, on its own, sorry, just neat. So when it comes to like a bourbon or a, um, a scotch, things like that, to drink the neat, you can add ice. It's recommended. Some people even say a splash of water, which I guess I get, you know, ice is going to melt. It, it's, um, unless you are a very experienced drink, shall we say, it is recommended you have it with ice. Now, obviously... I'm not an experienced drinker, but I'm going to be drinking it neat to get the full effect of its flavour um, and just see how it goes down the burn. I want to know the flavour of it completely and kind of say, you know, this is £13. What What's it about kind of thing? So let's go first for smell. Okay. It's nice. It's smoky. It's a bit... Caramelly, um, it's definitely got like some sweeter notes to it. But yeah, it smells pretty decent in terms of quality. Uh, yeah, for £13, I definitely say that smells pretty damn nice. It doesn't smell cheap, it doesn't smell too just spirity, if you know what I mean by that. Like uh, your cheaper spirits, like let's say, let's take it back to when we we're all teenagers getting drunk on a field somewhere glenn's vodka you smelt that and it was like paint stripper <laughs> and that was cheap uh, but this it smells pretty good so let's give it a taste mm. it's got the burn absolutely got the burn flavor the flavour's not brilliant. Not brilliant at all, to be honest. Um, not as good as the smell. Uh, it, mm, it tastes cheap. It smells nice, tastes cheap. Uh, yeah, the aftertaste isn't too good either. It's like there's the slightest hint of something sweet, but I wouldn't even want to say it's like a caramel sweet or a toffee sweet or anything. It's just artificial. The aftertaste, <laughs> and this is going to sound really weird, the aftertaste, the only way I could explain it is if you've ever had like that Billy Bear ham, that really cheap ham you can buy that's like designed for kids, which is probably never even seen a pig. Um... It's, it's not nice. Um, we're going to mix it with some Coke and see how it goes down. All right, so in, I poured a double. Obviously, I had a little sip out of it for the taste. And I've just filled it up to there with Coke. It's about just over 50. It's about 60-40 for the Coke to uh, bourbon ratio. That's because I don't want to lose too much, I'll say too much flavour of the actual drink. But I feel like this is definitely going to have to be a mixer job. Uh, I would not recommend drinking it neat. It does not taste nice. <sighs> 
I'm disappointed, but I'd say you get what you pay for in this scenario. But it's not nice. I was going to do a comparison uh, of this versus my Buffalo Trace because I like to do cheaper, but that would have been if I had a pleasant experience with this, which I haven't. Uh, this is definitely bottom shelf kind of liquor. Um, even with a Coke, uh, well, Pepsi, it just tastes shit. <laughs> That's the best way I could put it. <laughs> it. It's not good. I do not recommend this one. I'd say there's definitely better alternatives out there for £13. Uh, even if you just walk around your standard supermarket and see what's on offer. Um, oh, what percentage is this? This is a 40% volume. And I wouldn't say it's got the taste of a 40% volume. It's got a slight burn. Um, but I wouldn't say that's what's taking the flavour away. It's just not a... It's, put, it's been poorly executed. Um, and now... It's a big fat no for me. There will be no comparison with this versus anything else. This is just not a good drink. So yeah, Samuel Joe's bourbon from Aldi. Don't do it. It's it's not nice, um, which is a shame. It's not saying that all their other spirits are going to be bad. We've had ones in the past that have been pretty damn good. Their Scotch whiskey, Highland Ale and Highland Black were really good. But for bourbon, it's not the one. Um... I will still try other things. I'm going to have a look. I know they've got a cherry rum. and I'm a big fan of uh, rum, especially the cherry flavoured ones. So we're going to give that one a go in the near future. But for now, this one's no good. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think if you've tried it, uh, what, what your experience with it was. But I would say in terms of bourbon, pay, extra, pay a bit extra and get something good. You know, for the sake of an extra £5, you can get a bottle of Jack Daniels. I would say do that. Uh, you know, add another 10 uh, add ten pounds instead of five, uh, and you can get something even nicer. You know, like Buffalo Trace is an absolute stunning bourbon, and yeah, but we're gonna have a look for other bourbons still as well to see if there's anything better out there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, like I've already said, drop me a comment. Let me know your opinion. Other than that, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're not already for more booze-related content. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Hopefully, bye bye.